Changing your plan or add-ons between bill periods affects your next bill. This video will explain how. If you update your plan or add-ons in the middle of a bill period, you'll see partial month charges or credits on your next bill. Common account updates include rate plan or feature changes, adding or canceling a line, account moves, or bill cycle changes. Let's look at how to estimate partial month charges and credits if you've made a change to your account between bill periods. Let's say your bill period starts on the first of the month and you add mobile insurance on the 10th. When you get your next bill, you'll see partial charges for mobile insurance starting on the day you added that feature. Or, let's say you change to a new rate plan 10 days into your new billing period. In this case, you'll see both a credit and a charge. You'll receive a partial credit for the days the old plan was no longer active and a partial charge for the days the new plan was active. We only charge you for the active days a plan or feature was active on your account. Both the credits and charges will appear on your next month's bill as the previous month's charges. Partial month charges apply to monthly recurring charges and do not include taxes, fees, equipment charges, or one-time charges. Avoid partial month charges in the future by scheduling your account changes to start on the first day of your next bill period. To view your bill, log into your AT&T online tool or visit business.att.com. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out other videos in this series.